Holly. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. This is Holly from Contestants Healing Arts, and I'm joined today at our fabulous Fridays event uh, with Sarah Oxidine, Cindy Gorney, and Philip Barrow from Hi. the UK. Hello. Um, everyone's welcome to ask questions, whoever comes, either during or after. And um, we're just uh, open to whatever source wants us to talk about, or our higher selves, or collective family, whatever. Uh, this is just going to be a intimate roundtable. So let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I'm Sarah. Hello. And uh, this week, we've been seriously bombarded with a lot of lunar energy. We just had an eclipse, uh, a penumbral eclipse. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but for the last three to four days, I've been feeling energy coming through my head and like literally changing things in there energetically going in different directions and needing to pull down that energy and ground that energy as it goes. How have you guys been feeling? Uh, Go ahead, Cindy. I, I'm kind of a lot of good synchronicities, great energy, uh, beautiful moments, um, things flowing. Um, People that are in, in my work, a lot of nice um, sacred comments, things like that. A great event last night. I went to a drum circle. Everything is yeah. just flowing very well. Oh, yeah. And I was like jamming. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, yeah. It was very good. It was very good. So everything's very good. No complaints. No complaints. <laughs> I'm, I'm rocking this energy. I love it. And I, love. I, yeah, I, I saw that soon, uh, that full moon and it, I did like put my hands on my heart. Cause it was like, wow, it was just so mm. powerful. Yeah. I want to add, um, like Sarah, I have been just, uh, bombarded to the point where it just incapacitated me. And, uh, I had to reach out to prime creator of the light, I might add, um, and ask what can he do to help. And he put on a filter. Uh, he said, just imagine an upside down funnel, you know, with the little hole going up here and the bigger part going over your body. And uh, that way it blocks out all the other energies that aren't yours and you still get to receive everything that is yours. And uh, it was immensely helpful. And he yes. said, if ever you want to take it off, you just go set it off on the shelf, you know, or uh, if you need a more full body, you can just bring it down to your ankles when you go to bed at night. And oh, wait, oh wait, like a uniform. Yes, like a uniform, <laughs> exactly. but just like an energetic one. <laughs> an energetic one. And the moment he did it, all, it all stopped, you know? And I was just like, oh, I just dropped. I just dropped. I was just spent. So, um, and anybody can do this. They don't need PC's help. They just have to envision this etheric upside down funnel you know, that just the energies that are there, your own to receive is what comes in. And he assured me it, uh, and I've tried it, uh, it doesn't affect your channeling ability. He said, you just have to focus in a little bit more is all. And they have to focus in a little bit more for you. So it's been so much more tolerable. Um, I'll let, I'll let, it depends who you channel, I suppose. <laughs> That's true. Yes, yes. Everyone yeah. has a different energy. So mm. that's been fun, too. There have been some really interesting people or beings that came through, say, in the past couple weeks, you know, like Cryon mm. showed up and channeled through me one day on Earth Day. And... Um, <laughs> Oh, goodness, who else? Uh, uh, Ashtar has been coming through every now and then with some 
you know, help me with this and help with that and, you know, missions. And um, it's been really interesting. Lots of otherworldly beings and gosh, so, I haven't so, talked to you, Philip, in so long. It's I been know. Well, today I've been connecting more with that dragon energy and they've got more there than you, you, you can. People don't uh, ask them that much for help. And they should ask them more because they're, they're magical creatures. Oh, yes. that and the unicorns. The rainbow <laughs> particularly seem to be the prevalent ones. Hmm. Yeah. I found out my dragon is a warrior dragon. Well, that, that's quite handy for me, that is. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, let's, let's uh, call in the dragon energies to just uh, be present with us during this um live event and yeah. just to flow their energies through us and messages and just just to be here with us and everyone who will see this today and later be blessed by them <clears throat> now, i would like for philip to introduce himself to the to the audience because this is the first time we've had philip here Okay. And so, Philip, if you'd like to give a little bit of your story, okay. and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, yeah, Philip. Yes. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Philip, I started healing when I was four, four-year-old, so I was a very natural healer at the beginning. Uh, I used to do quite a bit of tongue language when I was born, when I, in the early, early years, but we actually thought I had brain damage because uh, a four or five-year-old doing tongue angelic tongue is not it doesn't look normal to other people i suppose right. so it, 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 i had a difficult childhood because of this suspected brain damage but i i've i've actually connected to other aspects of me for knowledge uh hermes on, on atlantis which ollie knows uh raphael part uh, crystal source being uh and merlin so i get a lot of my knowledge from these aspects that I once were, which is quite, quite opening. But I, I've been in, going to two healing centers for the last 20 years, so I do voluntary healing as well. But I also do warrior work at, at, in Astro. So at Astro, I, I, if anyone's got anything really dark on them, they ask me and then I visit them and clear it up, which I've done for a long time. So Interesting. Okay. How lovely. So light warrior work. That's um, dark warrior work. <laughs> so, oh, dark warrior work. <laughs> it oh, well, we do have both sides. You know? Yeah, well, well, dark dark work is basically fight, uh, fighting de demonic energies and dark energies. So, you, so I'm on the light side, but that's what. But the uh, in the daytime as a human, I do the light work. So, uh, I've done I've done a little bit of shadow work. Shadow work we, all, we, all, we all need it now and again, but. Uh, Dark work when I'm doing astro and light work when I'm in the day. <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. Philip, do it seems it's been a while since I've spoken with you, but are you not um an incarnation of an archangel? I can't remember. Raphael. Raphael. I knew it, I just couldn't remember <laughs> which one. <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> but obviously in this life I'm Philip. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But when, when I need them, I, I've got them as backup. That's what I mean. yeah. And also, my dragon, which is my guardian warrior, is called Dolman. So. Dolman. Dolman. Yeah. Wow. Hello, oh. Dolman. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Dolman? He's supposed to be. He's supposed to be very high up, and I can't remember the name he's got, but he's very high up in the dragon world sort of thing. So he's a warrior of the dragon. Awesome, Very awesome. Good. They're mm -hmm. wonderful creatures for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I I like your uh, interpretation of light warrior work and dark warrior work mm -hmm. because my concept was a little different, mm -hmm. and your concept is uh, refreshing. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So I'd like to thank you for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
So what have you been up to, Philip? I know you've been periodically doing your um, healing sessions with the Purcells. Yeah. Uh, these events. Um, <clears throat> uh, how are things uh, over in Great Britain? Uh, to do with what? <laughs> to do with virus? <laughs> Well, no, we, we won't talk about, we won't about that. We won't about that. <laughs> From what I tell you guys are hit awful bad over there. So we, we won't even go there. It, but it, It's fake, in my opinion. It's not real. So. I live about eight miles from Bolton. I Bolton? don't know any Bolton that's been on the news. Yeah, I live eight miles from there. I have customers there. I don't know people at Hill there. So that gives you an idea. <laughs> well it's it's real for those who it is real for. And yeah, we true. must respect that. Yeah. Because people are using that as a vibration to leave the planet at this time. True. That's no, true. That's and to be reborn again. Mm. So we must respect how people wish to perceive their realities yeah i'm saying about bolton because bolton's in the yes. news all the time and when, okay. when you when you actually live a few miles away it gives a bit of a reality check of what is real and what isn't real in the media yes yeah. yes so it may not be real for a lot of the light workers because for us everything is energy yeah and vibration mm -hmm. And sickness, let me tell you, uh, dis-ease, mm -hmm. okay? Let's just break the word down. It is unease about your reality. It's also an energetic vibration of lower frequencies of reality. Mm -hmm. And so it exists for those who connect to lower vibrational energy within their own systems and their own mentality. A lot of it is thought process. Some of it is real in the fact that there are things that can affect the body when it comes to uh, dis-ease. There are, um, let's say, Earth creates, uh, let's say, viral aspects that can affect the human body. So do labs. And so for those people who it is real for, it is real. For those people who it is not real for, it is not real because that is not a scope of their reality mm -hmm. that they are vibrating to. Okay. So we want to make sure we understand both sides of the reality and respect both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can I can I say one thing about the ones who had the V? I'm not even saying the word in case you I found out recently that if you channel crystal source energy into the person's cells, it does a cleanse on them. And it, it only has to be in a few of the cells because obviously crystal source energy's got it's it's a life of its own but it spreads in the body. I was uh, on the light, one of my live events, I was healing someone who'd had the V, and within half an hour, she texted and messaged me, she'd been ill for 17 days. She said she feels a million times better. It's all the headaches have gone, all the side effects have gone. So there's a tip of the day. Should, should I be given? So, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And Crystal carries frequencies as well. Mm -hmm. And using crystals can heighten or uh, raise the vibration of the human body if it is intended to do so. Mm -hmm. True. So exactly. yes, that makes a lot of sense that the crystal source energy, if you're connecting to that idea, it works well for the human body mm -hmm. to bring it out of lower vibrational dis-ease and bring it up to a higher vibration of ease and well-being so yes you you say, you say that lovely a lot better now i say it. <laughs> thank you <laughs> you are welcome sarah is a wonderful orator yeah yes and a healer 
And so I help people to understand the vibrational concepts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't used to seeing the world in that aspect. Mm. I use tones and frequencies for healing I, and many I, other energetic. That's exactly how I do it. And, but you, where you explain, yes. people normally use earth energy to heal. And I said, why don't you connect to the energy that you need to heal the person? Find out what they, what they have. And you could connect to Andromeda, to high vibrational prickly feel, or you can connect to moon energy, or you can connect to this one. And so the way you, you actually heal is very similar to mine. So that's quite unique. Wonderful. I've never, I've not really met anyone else that's done that. So thank you for that. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. We have to begin to see our reality as vibrational in and oh, of itself. So uh you've heard of um what is his name very brilliant scientist a quantum physicist a tesla there we go <laughs> tesla said if you want to understand the secrets of the universe you will first look into the direction of vibration and it is real and it is true there's energetic healing and there is energetic vibrational healing, the quantum healing. So you have those who use Reiki for healing. You have those who use sound for healing purposes. Both of them carry energy. It's just that sound has the frequency of bypassing any mental blockages that people may have in their own minds, allowing saying, Oh, something won't work. Something doesn't work well with your body. But because we are vibrational beings, the vibrations literally bypasses any mind chatter, any blocked walls of ideas and goes through and pass through those concepts to help the body to heal. And so really understand the concept of just energetic healing and then the concept of vibrational healing. All beings within the universe carry vibration, whether it's a planet, whether it's a tree, an animal, a human, um, a star, every single thing in our reality carries a vibrational frequency. Okay? And so really think about that concept. Really feel into it and see how you evolved from that idea. Okay. Thank you. That was my consent for right now. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, I, I used my um, quartz crystals this week and I, I think it had a lot to do with a lot that's going on in my life. The vibration was great. You know, the synchronicities, how everything is flowing. And it's very true about the focus because there's so much energy coming from all different directions. You know, I'm, I have a little notepad. I'm writing things down because I notice that my focus isn't as clear as it usually is. So what I want to ask you, Philip, what uh, crystals do you use? What type? Do you know, I was going to say, this is the crystals I use. And you, thank you, Philip. You must have read me mine. Uh, I do this, that. <laughs> this one here is light and dark, and what it is, it pull this. This one here will cleanse the room on its own. Uh, it, it actually, um, it actually asked me to buy it about two, about nineteen nineties. It's about it's probably worth a thousand pounds now. <laughs> so good, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. I can, mm -hmm. yeah, I can feel that. That yeah. is very powerful. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Is that a shadow port? Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, is that a shadow port? It's rock on one side, and it's like a tabaz on the other. Like like a. It's two different. It's like dark on one side, light on the other side. You, you can ah. actually see actually see the 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 change in it. Right. But what I've noticed, it will it pulls in uh, low density energies and changes it or keeps hold of it. It might keep hold of it if it's demonic or something like that and then I've got to cleanse it and the other one is that one uh, it's an angelic it's a wand, wand. Uh, 
the wings are made from minerals of a, an African volcano. That's rock crystal. That's uh, per, uh, mother pearl, and that's tiger. Yeah. Tiger's eye. Yeah. So you can, oh. you can see that's quite a special one. So it is a crystal, but it's uh, it, it's like a wow. tool. Yeah. Beautiful work. Definitely. Yeah. Wow! 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 And what do you use that for? Uh, for uh, you can use it for healing. Uh, you can you do everything, can't you, with it, really? Uh, I, I actually like to use it like that because it's got like a... With this circle here, it's not a satanic symbol, even though people use it. For, it's, a, it's, it's like a, an endless power chain. So when I'm sending it, it, it transforms the energy and makes it more powerful. Or oh, I can use it like that, obviously. Yeah, I used to have a, I used to have another one that light used to come out of it, and I sold it, and I regret it ever since <laughs> because oh, I no. liked it, I liked it too much. And that sometimes when you like something, you've got to say no. I've got I've got to surrender. I've got to not like it that much. So best ways to get rid of it, but I still regret it now. So. Uh, oh, any wow, others? Bear, bear me main two two ones. I've got some little ones like like that there. But I haven't used them as tools yet, uh, ah. because it's crystals. I don't. It, what you can do, you can actually program them to do different things. Rock crystal is a great one, where if you cleanse it and mean like, then the next day hold it, and then you can program it to do the job it needs to do. Yeah, people mm -hmm. don't realize that you can program these uh, for all sorts of things. So, I do that yeah. with salt crystals. I, I have bowls of salt under my bed. One mm. under my head area and one under my feet, and I program them. And often put um, iron pyrite in it as well mm. to keep the gin away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I like fighting those sort of things. <laughs> I, I'd attract them and come in. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, oh, I've, got this, I've got this as well. But it's a cup holder, but it's also uh, quite big. Oh wow! Yeah, that is very that? big. Uh, it's um, I can't. Amethyst. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> yes, amethyst. Oh wow, out. that's neat. And it's Beautiful. good for you. It, it's good to put your cup in as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it would charge. It charge up uh, whatever mm. you put in there. I would imagine, right? That's yeah. true. Energize that's, it and heal it. Give, yeah. Give the. Uh, <laughs> Give the drink a bit of an eye vibration. I didn't think of that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a question, Philip. Do you have any recommendations? I'm in the process of a lot of change, selling my home. and um, So um, just to really let go and trust more. I mean, I find myself doing it, but then sometimes I'm like, you know, I get those wobblies. Any, um, any recommendations? Mm. Last, last year I had an awakening where I surrendered everything to someone and uh, all of a sudden I, did, I, I, I knew the answers instantly which was great uh, I would say go with the intuition there go with the okay. intuition or connect with nature connect with a yes, tree yeah because Tr when trees you off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you when you let go, you really do leave so much room and more energy to come in the flow. Mm -hmm. I don't want to block any flow, so um, I'm working Hello. on it. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, her main thing is uh, she's in Akashic Records, uh, mm -hmm. guide and teacher. So that's her specialty. I I, I got in trouble there once. I, I was trying to get I was trying to get the lottery numbers from there. <laughs> when you got in trouble, can you even do that? I, yeah, I never... well, yeah. I was I was trying to get the lottery numbers for the future, and the, the beings that stopped me were like they were like uh, I don't know if you know what these are. I've never seen them before. They were like uh, scales, but they could fly. They were like, do you know what they? They they basically said that that's not good to actually cheat, and that's what I was doing. I guess I was trying. I was I was doing it to see if I could, 
people uh -huh. were they nagas what? were they nagas is that what they called i don't know i've never i've never you say they have scales but they can yeah, fly yeah. there's scale there's a lot of information from the asian yeah. uh part of the world mm -hmm. where there are beings that are humanoid serpentine beings and some of them do fly mm -hmm. They have scales. Yes. <laughs> so it could have been a naga. They weren't impressed okay. anyway. But people, pe no. people say you shouldn't use your gift to uh, to gain. And I always say, why not try? So you know, it's it, it's not to gain. It's to actually test t test to see what happens. I've done that all my life. Uh, I, I I bend the rules. I'm a rule bender. I'm and, like uh, you. Mm. I, I wouldn't have seen. I, oh, she forced this <laughs> ideas. <laughs> but I wouldn't have seen these beings if I never tried. So, at the end of the day, that that was a an opening. But very weird beings, actually. But uh, they didn't. <laughs> no, they they didn't funny. really. They didn't really say a lot. But they just marched me off it. So. My first thought when you said that that it might have been one of the watchers because I've had interactions with them. They kind mm -hmm. of uh, are the, they oversee the interactions of, of not only humans, but otherworldly beings with the interactions. Uh, are, they, uh, are they like gatekeepers? Well, I guess. I didn't really get a ton of information, but I actually had, I have one that uh, actually spent 24 hours with me um asking questions observing um and he's he had said um he, there was a a friend who's actually a, a very close soul soul fractal connection in canada and i remember he's visited her as well and he said, you two are some of my favorite <laughs> observations, you know. And he, and he did say, I remember he said once, he goes, I do bend the rules every now and then for you guys because you're my favorites, you know. <laughs> and uh, But but they, they kind of go after other beings that break the rules, including humans. You know, they're like, nope, nope, you know, it doesn't, doesn't fit the protocol, you know. So they step in and um, even incarcerate some, I guess. So I don't know a huge amount, but. Uh, I was just told they're not the gatekeepers, but they do oversee uh, many planets and many dimensional levels. Yeah. Yep. So they make sure everything's is in place is in order they're like a harmonic balancing type of uh being mm -hmm. yeah to make sure you know universal laws are, are in place and they stay where things are running smoothly yeah yeah mine, 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 he's, he said his name was zilbert <laughs> <laughs> interesting frequency there yeah. <laughs> Cute. Um, I'm, I'm getting that um, it's just the way our spirits work, the three of us, you know, to do things organically. And that's kind of like how the Akashic helps me and guides me. I was at a horse race and I'm frugal with money. I didn't bet. It was, it was a, I usually don't go there, but it was for a fundraiser for a child and it was, you know, a good cause. So um, I zeroed in on peaches and sure enough, peaches came in. Did I share that with everybody, what my intuition picked up? No, I did not. <laughs> and I think that, you know, other people that ask you that, that want the numbers or, or the horses or, you know, even if you want to play around with that, then it doesn't work. So I, I had an, I've got a story on that. In 1999, I got a message while I was at work typing on the, it wasn't a computer then, but some typing something. But man, you know, it'd go and win the treble. And I thought, hmm, where did that come from? That wasn't me. So I phoned me dad. I said, dad, have you got 200 pounds? I said, yeah. Are you going to the bookies? <laughs> yeah. I said, put them on United to win the treble. And I think I got 3,000 pounds in it. And they've never given me a message like that again. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> they shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't. Have. I don't think they realised that I'd actually use that information. And actually, like, let's let, let me win a few grand out of it. So, it's quite... oh, I want to share that today's my dad's birthday, and I lost my dad like 29 years ago when I was pregnant with my oldest. I was only three months pregnant, and he was a lucky man. Um, with winning, you know, always card games. Uh, he won a car. Uh, yeah. So, and he was very generous. So when he won, he would come home and, you know, my sister and I, we would get 10% and we we're like, oh, good, he did one, you know. It was fun. <laughs> what, happen, what happens to me, what happens to me, last night, I'll tell you last night, I normally get three numbers on the lottery and the other numbers are normally one or two out. And it happened last night. I got 20 pounds. But I was one number out on the first, and they all sequenced, sequenced, they're all in line. And if you add that number and that number to the last number, it, it balances. So I was about one number out on the, all the three I was out, but the other three came in. Uh, that's my life. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something? You, you have to wonder that for the manifestation you know you would think we people that are always helping others uh, get it on the plate mm. yeah to get a little help every mm. now and then you know to to help us along to help others it's not like we're going to stop helping others but uh they still really quite uh yes sarah limited i got a message yes it depends on how you're using that capability. If you are using it solely for personal gain, you, you will win sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if you are using it in the highest good of, let's say, you, myself, and the group here, or for the benefit of all, it's, it depends on how you're using that gift. Mm -hmm. Right. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Law of okay. attraction. That's the word I was trying to say. It's the law of attraction because we're going to attract a lot of things we're wanting to manifest mm -hmm. because we can connect to that energy. But if your intention is just to use it for just because. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, what you're saying is the spiritual ability is coming in. But your greed part is 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 crashing. Yeah, when they're so, it's just, it's so you'll, get, you'll get uh, is you'll like get uh, low yeah. vibration. <laughs> it lowers the vibrational intent. So, so uh, <laughs> six numbers. The three was the spiritual ability, but the the three that didn't come in was the greed at saying no. It's the greed. Mm. Yeah, yeah it sounds so like it there is on how you're using a built-in <laughs> balancing system there. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes, definitely so. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how we, you know, it keeps us in check. I love that. You know, like, <laughs> they really do have our backs. Yeah, I just love yeah. that. What I did last yeah. year, what I did last year, minute before the end, I lifted my vibration. I was singing, enjoying myself, wrote the numbers down. And as I wrote them down, I thought, well, them two, they always come in. Change them two. If I didn't change them two, I would have won the jackpot. So the best way is to lift the vibration, really lift it yeah. and go be in the mode, but don't have doubt because I had doubt and that doubt changed two numbers. I would have um, about three and a half million. But, oh, wow. Well, and, there you uh, go. And the first message is always the right message. Exactly. That's true too. Exactly. <laughs> Hicks talks about that all the time too, you know, when to buy that lottery ticket and, and why. You know, and how, and your mood. When I used to buy scratch cards, I used to put my hand up in, in the shop, scratch card, win, 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 win. And I used to pick the winners. Might be a couple of quid. And I, I, this person, the, the assistant said, what are you actually doing? I said, I'm, I'm picking the winner. And all three was winning. He says, how do you do that? So I'm sending a message into the scratch card. Are you a winner? Are you? And I, I'm getting the vibration, yes or no. Um, oh, that's cool. So now you're connecting to the scratch card <laughs> as if it is a being. Exactly. Yes. 
and that being can communicate with you yes mm. so you're actually communicating between dimensional levels when you're doing that mm. yes i love it because you're actually communicating to the the second dimensional level meaning like cartoon meaning anything drawn on paper that sort of thing mm. so that's a perfect example of communicating between dimensional concepts and physicalities i didn't know it was like that but object. it makes sense yeah that's yes <laughs> I, I actually didn't know how it works but i used to get the feedback coming back but at least I, I, yeah. yes yeah. Wonderful, Mr. Quantum Being. <laughs> Wonderful. I love that. I have stopped. More people need to understand we can do yeah, that. I've stopped doing it now, though. That's okay. <laughs> but when you raise your vibration level again without any outside concept or intention outside of being in high vibration and being in alignment, you will receive those numbers again in the right way. Mm. Lots of make, makes, that makes a lot of sense that. yeah yes thank you but wonderful example i love that thank you for that mm. <laughs> and i love your accent thank yes you. of course thank you mm. Mm. we have wendy Calatano <laughs> joining us oh nice <gasps> Wendy! Hello, 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 hello Wendy! Hello, Wendy! Can't do a thing with it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Welcome, welcome. We have a number of topics going on here. Uh, speaking oh. between dimensional frequencies <laughs> of physicalities, uh, gambling or using uh instruments for our benefit by raising our vibrational level high enough to receive the information and uh lowering the, the vibration based upon your intent and so the information changes in that perspective uh, i love these concepts that we're playing with today so Wendy, how have you been feeling during this lunar eclipse? Oh, lunar crazy. Like uh, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, it's it's been a lot of energy, and um, it's been making me want to sleep. I get a lot of like, yes. heart fluttering that's happening, and um, yeah, that's about it. And sometimes irritable. Um, I don't know if you guys are like experiencing that too, but there's a lot of times where I'm just like feeling super irritable. Like, don't ask me that again. Didn't I just tell you the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real, right? Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, have mm. any of you uh, during all this, you know, huge influxes of energy that came in and are still coming in? Are you uh, connecting with uh, the crystal skull energies uh, through all of this? I, I actually do that daily. Um, I, <laughs> oh, I know you have crystal skulls yeah. around you all the time. But I mean, uh, uh, well, I guess what I'm getting at is more the, um, the Lemurian crystal skull energy, the, the feminine uh, energy is, is anybody connecting to that during this time? i i haven't for some time dealt with the crystal skull since the last time we did it all together however i've been dealing with my own crystals uh etheric crystals that i've put up around the planet <laughs> <laughs> during this very energetic time period because it's helping me to ground some of that cosmic energy into the earth. Um, if you would like, since you brought it up, we could connect to the crystal skull energy right now and ground some of these cosmic rays that are happening right now all together. And for those who are watching, you can participate as well. 
Would you like to do that? Yes. I guess got chills all over. Woo. <laughs> Wendy. Oh yeah. My my team is my team is always ready to go. Um, they just are like they're just like, Yeah, we're working with you. So whenever you call on me, it's like boom, they're it's just like you know what? It's like the archangels. You just say their name and boom, in a millisecond, there they are. <laughs> Yes. Cindy, I'm quite embarrassed because my school says she's on the floor. <laughs> I just got the message. So I might have to have a look for mine on this one. Oh, your, your crystal skull, you have one? I have one, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So she can participate. It doesn't matter where she is in your room. Yeah. Or she's, your house. A, she's like a connection with the galactic one. She's like an alien. One. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... We'll be all light to connect yeah. right so, now. So with my crystals, they're in the other room. I don't have to hold them. They're going to. No, you don't. Just connect. Okay. See them. Okay. Connect to them. Okay. With your intention. Okay. Yeah, they're, 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 okay. They're already part of your grid. So. <laughs> what was that, uh, Wendy? They're already part of your grid and part of the, um, the collective grid. So. Wonderful. Do, do you know, I, I just want to look for mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look for it. It's cute. <laughs> just give me, give me one minute. Just one more minute. <laughs> okay. We will wait for you. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm a good skull guardian. I know where all my skulls are. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. How many do you have over there? Oh, good Lord. He's on the oh, floor. I can't believe I have, it. I have 17 mini ones. I have one that's probably about it was eight a inches, about seven pounds and then i probably have somewhere between 15 and 20 others that are varying sizes so yes. all in your house yes all all of them in my house Woo! Gu guess where it was it was under my chair it was actually oh, under my chair, under your chair. <laughs> it was ready to go it was you ready was ready you knew, knew it was coming yeah. <laughs> I have um I have one that likes it, that is a master skull and so he likes to sit in the center of where everybody is at no matter what's happening. So I'm envisioning him being in the center of our energy when we're all together just because he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Everybody, let's connect in. Let's breathe. In. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in once more and hold it at the top. Connect to your third eye. And breathe out. Continue breathing. As we connect to the moon energy. Luna. The light source in the dark. We also connect to the sun energy for they are both working together at this time with the lunar eclipse. Breathe it in. Breathe out. We connect to the cosmic rays hitting the planet at this time. Flowing with the planet at this time. All colors, frequencies, and vibrations connecting to this planet at this time. We, as part of the human collective, connecting to this energy, intend for this energy 
to be grounded into the earth using the crystal skulls. The galactic skulls are actually um, saying that they are joined. Wonderful. Also the crystal skulls within the earth located around the earth. Also all crystals located within the earth. We connect to the crystal source energy at this time. We of the light bring and share the light energy of the cosmic rays and frequency with the earth at this time. We ground into the earth this cosmic rays and light energy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ground. Connect to the center of the earth. Connect to the sun within the earth. Ground, balance. As you are balancing and grounding, shine your light within the sun that is within the earth. Mm -hmm. Shine brighter, brighter. Let it fill all spaces within the earth let it come up through the ground all over the earth let it connect to the hearts of all humanity, all beings, natural, water, air, fire, earth, shine these cosmic rays all around the planet. See the planet becoming a star in and of itself. See the planet shining with all the cosmic rays as a star.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in once more. Hold it at the top. Connect to your third eye. And breathe out. Come back when you're ready. Thank you, Sarah, that was beautiful. There I am crying again. Every time we do these, it just floods out. I'm just feeling so much love. I'm on a, um, like, kind of like a, I'm, I'm sitting at my island in my kitchen. And there's like a bar stool. So there's like a little um, ledge where I can rest my feet. So my legs started vibrating and they said, put them on the ground. So then I did. And um, I just, I feel more love, I think, than I've ever felt. It's just like coming all over. And I'm so grateful. And that's why I get the tears. So thank you. Thank you for being authentic, everyone. Yes. The only way to be. Yeah. And, and actually, when you're not authentic, you're, you know, you're doing it to yourself. You're... So hurting yourself. Yeah. You're not trusting yourself. You're not allowing. And you're not in the flow. How about a little light language? Go for it. Okay. Who would like I've, to start? I've been holding it back, so I would love to start. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They've been wanting to channel and I'll see. Um, I feel like it's actually Earth like channeling. So, Gaia, I'm in that. I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going Absorb this into your heart. This is the land that is speaking to you, the mountains, the rocks. Absorb this into your hearts, into your being. Do not, do not mind, do not mind. We do not mind that you tread onto our surface. We do not mind that you join your energy with ours when you climb in the hills, when you step on the rocks, when your feet are in the water. Be sure that you are thinking not only of the enjoyment of what you are experiencing in the out of doors, but also in your connection to all that is. Imagine yourself seeing the hydrolase that is around you. Imagine yourself breathing in the air, be in the now, your breath is in the now. It does not reside in the past. It does not reside in the future. The breath is in the now. Be in the now whenever you are in. This energy is falling to you like a waterfall that comes not only from your earth, but in your galactic, but in the, in, in, in the galactic realms are also here with their energy in the Pleiadians, the Pleiadians, the Pleiadian collective is here supporting, supporting. Earth at this time. Thank you. And transmission. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you're probably looking up my nose. <laughs> There's some comments in the chats, Holly. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. 
Yes, thank I, you. I can't Amy respond. Ryan. Thank you, Libby, for coming and joining us on this day. It's truly uh, you bless us with your energy. Thank you so much. And if it, if you have any questions, feel free to ask or requests or healing anything at all. Just uh, type it in, and I'm sure we will all be able to assist you in our own special way. And thank you, Wendy. That was beautiful. Oh gosh, you're so welcome. Thank you. It was really pushing through hard, as you could see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, it's a lot of grounding energy at the moment. It's really pushing it. <laughs> I feel like a tree at the moment. <laughs> yeah, y'all <are> top off. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, would you like to do a light language? Certainly. Hengwejasakutiata anwejasia kutiana inyoso alate akoya. Shasati a siki, a rota etera un tukia tuniata, a roti a shikia chasati and do, a rota ikeata, a rainku and chasso do ikea so see, a ronta tia kurutia kutiasa, maruti andaria kutitia, a soy a shaikia terua sasai. Namaste. Namaste. Wendy, are you there? I am here. Were you waiting for translation? <laughs> yes, please. Connecting to this. Um, I was hearing it was a blessing. Yes. One moment. This is a this is a blessing for all that are joining in with this connection. This blessing comes from Holly's higher self and her connection with her guide team. They are very thankful and grateful for all that are tuning in and those that are connecting to their higher self because as you connect in with your higher self into your Holy Spirit, this is your being where you connect in with Source God through the top of your head. Imagine that white light expanding up into the galactic realm. This is where you are connecting in with your Source, your own higher spirit, your own higher self. And this information is being uh, guided to you, given to you at this time, so that you may learn this, experience this, and then pull this into your hearts. And we are so grateful for all who are here Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. And thank you to my higher self. Yes, it was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Cindy. Yes. Do you have a language? Just speak. It's there. <laughs> I have an enormous amount of love just flowing out of my heart. It's coming in for my crown. Yes, you're thinking too much. Speak without thought. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy they're, they're saying they want to speak through you in English. So speak your heart. Uh, when you're connected, just speak your heart. Just let the words come out that you are hearing and feeling. <sighs> feel so much love from every every angle just light just thousands of light beams just flowing at me 
my heart and my soul just giving me the chills. Very powerful. It's everything that I see, where I go, who I connect with, what I see, what I feel. It's um, uh, the host last night, their um, amazing story of their, their passionate love. Uh, new friends. Uh, new awareness. Uh, letting go of so much fear that is was in my life as, as a child. Um, this uh, momentum of passion and love for myself, for everything that I do, and trusting. Just this peace that's in me. Allowing me to share it with others and teach and the most relaxed, uh, graceful way. And that was my divine wish to always be a grace and to share so much love to, to everyone that needs it on this earth. There are so many uh, that I come in contact with and I'm, I'm delighted that they appreciate my help and that I can guide them and heal them and help them, nurture them where they're not being nurtured by their mothers that they come to me. <laughs> Boy, every time you guys, wow. Um, and you never know, you know, for everyone that's watching, you never know when you're going to come in contact with somebody. Just when it happens, just feel it and, and enjoy it and embrace it. Embrace what you feel. They're saying that the release that you are experiencing is not just your own release. You're actually releasing for... Uh, uh, collective as they will be watching going uh, going forward and as they're um, as they're looking and getting this information that's where you're going to experience um, that really so not just like not just within yourself but you're feeling this collectively so that's that's the information that I'm hearing and um, yeah I add to that and I know you guys are probably getting that information <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Thank you all. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Tina ira tayo shuru waha. Ki asu na ira ti siwa ki na i. Hasu alanai guna yara tis yolto kosha. E yusuk urak ini sarak ini kutsukuaka. Tia sana yara to urak sakia sana kia wakia. Nia ki sulanai yata hasia kio koaha. Aya no ku. Sanaya ri koranai retini uroto kosha asia ka ia lo nuaha hasalanai hotu shinaya Yes Wendy <laughs> oh my gosh uh let me touch hang on give me a minute let me let me pull into it So giving me, so giving me more about going outside. Um, 
connecting with yourself and grounding in and being sure that you are in the energy and <sighs> grounding yourself. Drink a lot of water. There, it's like the instructions is drink a lot of water, ground yourself. These energies are not just high now. These energies are going to be coming in higher and higher. Um, you think that they're high now, wait. <laughs> Oh. Yes. You, you think that they're high now we, <laughs> we are preparing you your bodies are moving upwards along the frequency line along with Gaia's as more and more will be coming online in the next few months many will start reaching out to you seeking searching looking for additional information trying to find their own balance they're going to start seeing things feeling things knowing things and not understanding why because they've never experienced these things before you are the way shores you are the ones that will be leading giving this information teaching you are the mentors be blessed be strong be courageous there will be difficult times coming you are loved you are guided continue to look into your heart space you are all doing beautiful work and we are here to support you namaste i'm hearing the hathors tagged in tagged tagged on the end of that beautiful <laughs> Thank you, both of you. <laughs> Everyone. Philip, do you have anything yeah, you would like to bless us with? Now remember that I used to do this as a child, so I'm going to have a go tonight just for you, Holly. <laughs> and this <laughs> this is an healing cantation is the word in the angelic tongue. Uh to give harmony to everyone on the planet. It's okay being lifted by a vibration, but harmony is the message yes. in this. So uh, I've been holding me, I've been getting signals to do this. So, yes, yes. <sighs> give me a minute. Let me have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's take a sip of water. <laughs> I, I'm going to be told in it soon that I've got brain damage. Thing. <laughs> you don't have brain um, damage. <laughs> No, I've cured that. I've sorted that one out. Right. Fast. Hot. 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 Kisi komata ke sana kolo kiri pasana ba kala tito ke rasino ko ka samati ke du senora tika ti esina roka kisi mara karono ba sati kamati pasono kolo. Right. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I felt that strongly. Can you delete that part, please? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> And, and and they're saying to the angelic, so the angelic is add, adding to your blessing, saying to for that balancing to um, work work on the balancing between divine masculine, divine feminine. So balancing that into your being uh, uh, trying to find the divine masculine try to find the divine feminine the feminine will have the masculine the masculine will have the feminine fe feminine and this information is coming through to you in to as an addendum to what phil did <laughs> <laughs> the angelic tongue is certainly up. You will feel that energy. Think balance. Think balance. Think balance. Think balance. Think 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 balance. Thank you. That's all. <laughs> I can't, I can't just...
you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling a an infinity symbol at the back of my neck. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm seeing. And I was coming in my hands right here, like an energy, an infinity, an infinity symbol. I, I went to everyone, I think. Yeah. Not just the ones watching. And <laughs> <laughs> and as I was as I was um, translating, well, not really translating. It was like an addendum, right? And as I was adding that, it was just like um, I kept imagining that infinity symbol in between, like both sides of my, like in between my ears, where the pineal gland is, like going back and forth and finding that balancing of the divine masculine, divine feminine. So yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, angel, angel divine. She says, so it is done for all beings. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that was lovely. Did you know it's a change halfway through it? It's a change. It actually got more power. As it was going mm -hmm. up, I could feel yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Because you can't, you know why? Because you began to relax into the flow of it. Because you, like you said, you aren't using it very often, but you're being called to use it more and more now. And so as you're becoming more comfortable with it and letting your own flow go, once you started speaking it and you just started to let it go, that's when the power increased. Yeah, I, I lost my human side. And then I was going into the other. <laughs> and that's what it was. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. I, if I could do that with the lotteries. <laughs> Lose the human side. It's always about the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy knows me. Our abundance will come. I just believe it in for everyone. It, Our abundance well, will come. it already come. It's already like I mean, coming yes, to us. It it's already I mean, here. Right now. <laughs> yes. And, and Philip, all that love that I'm feeling, I want you to feel it too for your, you know, for yourself. Thank you. Just all right. allow yeah. it. Yes. I allow it all. <laughs> That's everything. The basis of all love energy that agape pure source energy is just so neat right now. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness we are like all coming sense. together for the support of each other and which naturally outflows to everyone else like ripples of a stone hitting a calm pond. So it's perfect and divine timing and we do this all for everyone's highest good and each other's. Yes. Yes. So if there's so shall we call it a day? I was gonna say or... I think we have <laughs> all of our blessings out and uh I think we've spoken what we needed to in this particular point of time. Yeah. And so we will say our goodbyes. If you'd like to each uh say a word about your spiritual businesses and where you can be reached first. Who would like to go first? You, you're going first. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> My name is Sarah Oxidine again. You can find me at sarahoxidine.com. You can also find me at Conversations with Sarah on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. Next. Cindy Gorney, uh, soultimewithcindy.com. Uh, also Facebook, Instagram. You, well, I don't have my own private YouTube, but there's some YouTubes on there, so. Okay. Wonderful. Wendy? Oh, hey, I'm Wendy Napolitano, and um, I do healing work, and um, you can find me at uh, Archangel Raziel and her crystal skulls on YouTube. On Instagram, I'm five mystic crystal skulls, and there's an underbar in between each, so it's the number five, underbar mystic, underbar crystal, underbar skulls. If I don't know what I was thinking when I created that name, it's like the longest name ever. My website is um, currently being revamped, and so, but soon you should be able to find me at wendynapolitano.com. 
So thank you guys. Wonderful. I appreciate working with you. And it's always a blessing to be able to uh, provide these services. And especially as we're all experiencing a growth within our own selves, we're channeling and um, and being able to translate light language are two of the things that have just been coming on this year for me. So I've been channeling, but the translation of the channeling of other people, myself has been coming through to other people. Like that's, that's pretty new. Um, and then opening up to actually doing like more channeling of other beings, so collective and that sort of thing are starting to come through me more and more now too. So it's interesting and I love you guys and thank you for your energy and thanks for putting up with me with my silliness with getting my hair. <laughs> That's fine. It's all beautiful, Wendy. All beautiful. Phil, Philip, I should say. Okay. Yeah, uh, I've got, uh, if you, on Facebook, I've got Philip Barrow, Raphael. Uh, I've also got YouTube, Philip Barrow, Raphael, and I do two healing events. Uh, a month now with Deb Purcell, uh, one's the Australian side, which is 4 a.m. in the morning when it finishes here. And the other one's the, the American side. Uh, I also started to do Oracle, uh, angelic Oracle cards, something I used to do as a child. So I started doing the tarot and the Oracle cards, which seems to be quite easy for me. So thank you. Thank you, Philip. Mm -hmm. And Wonderful. I can be reached at contestantshealingarts.com. And this has been Fabulous Friday with all these lovely beings of light. And blessings yes. to you all. And namaste. Namaste. And have a beautiful weekend, everyone. And just, just feel the love. It's all there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Thank go, you. Go out and hug a tree. <laughs> right? Hug yes. Go out and what? Hug a tree. Oh, Hug a tree. Okay. That is yes. such advice because there is so much high energy that we just shared. So that's like yes. Now to ground it. Drink water and drink water. So blessings, blessings to you all. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>